So, why don't I get a little, a little kind of walkthrough if you're, if you're looking to do anything on the PTS. Basically, what you do is that in your, um, uh, I can't show you this part, but like in the, um, the launcher, there's a place for you to download the PTS. And it's just like downloading a whole other game. So, you got to have the space for it on your computer. So, basically, we've loaded up a whole different game. Thank you, launcher. Yeah. Orange background, right? Yeah. So, you uh, download it, get that in there, launch it. And then log in, just like you do with your regular stuff. And it brings you to your characters. Oh, yeah. Mounts laid down. They'll do little things. We've got our uh, guars will jump around in the background. Where's my jumpy guar? This guy. This guy usually jump around in the back. A lot of people also don't know this. You can scroll in to see detail on your character. If you want to see the best detail on your character, scroll in on the character screen. Now, during the PTS times, for the first, like, couple weeks, you get all of your NA characters. The next two weeks after that, I think, is EU characters, and then I think there's a gap uh, in that. But you can also start a new character um, as well. And that's the thing that I want to go through with that, because the new character is going to have a lot of uh, um, you know, extra things for you um, uh, uh, you know, that, that you get automatically because of new character. Requires keyboard mode, yeah. That's, oh yeah, and if you spin them, they get, like, nauseous. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay, usually the guar jumps up and down and something like that. Usually he's very jumpy. I don't know why he's going today. So, anywho, anywho. So, um, so yeah. So I'm probably later going to jump on my main character and go and, and see stuff and everything. But what you do is that um, I'm going to delete one of my characters. Delete this guy. Type delete because I don't have any other room. Boom. All right. So now I've got room to create a character. So bottom right here, go to create a character. And now here you have your choices. Look up in the top left-hand corner. There's a very thin drop-down menu. And so Scions is Athalia, maximum level, so 3,600 CP, um, and it shows you where you're starting the Oath Swarm Pit. All right? If you do that one, you are going to have access to all of these, like, uh, coffers and everything. This so you when you're building or testing out a build or a character or new armor sets or whatever, that's the one you pick. If you want to just try kind of a mid-level character, they have added this. This is new uh, in the last uh, year and a half um, where they have... Actually, Mike Macon, if you're still here, you might know uh, well, when the last time they did the level 25. So you can do like a level 25 mid-level so you can test out something for there and stuff. But what I do, because I want to get all the bells and whistles and make a new character. Boom. And they also give you, like, all the passive skills. They already have that selected for you. Actually, don't remember to be high. No, I don't remember either. But that's a fairly new one. Because it used to be um, new your, your character, current character, um, a level one character, and that. So, so yeah. So, let's make... So, I'm at 3,600 CP. Let's make it to... So, Maddie Go Tested. <laughs> uh, it's available for Necron. I have no idea about any other. I was on PTS before. Yeah, that's the thing. I I, I kind of skipped one P PTS as well, so you never know. All right, so let's go male character. Of course, we're going to go with the Ebonheart. Mike, don't say a word. <laughs> An Ebonheart Khajiit. There we go. So, uh, let's go to... Um, let's go. We'll keep it a warden. <laughs> or the coward. Oh, <laughs> uh, and let's do uh, body. My body tap is pretty darn easy. Um, I do kind of just like medium muscular. I do height all the way up. I do as skin color as white as I can get it. No body markings on me. Everything at medium. Um, and then I do the head stuff. 
kind of move it around somewhere in between here. The eyes, I try to go for like a greenish. Oh, wait, no, that's hair color. White hair color, but I usually don't have any hair. Age, I go usually, well, I've kind of been aging them a little bit, but I usually kind of stick down to here. No adornments. Um, there you go. Eye color, I go around the green. Kind of color, and then everything kind of medium. Hey, that dog, how you doing? We're going through uh, how you uh, get a, a PTS character going. So that's why we don't have any of our music on. So, there we go. Yep, so that's our set up. So then we go create, boom. And it's see what it gives us. So we're in, that's right, we're in the reach. Uh, one of the big places there is in the reach. Fine, though, I'll hum a little tune. Mike, make it. Oh, and your add-ons are going to be broken. I mean, a lot of things that are going to be broken in it. You just kind of go with it. Uh, let's see. There we go. Ooh, but look at that. Ooh, I love that outfit. <gasps> oh, my gosh. And it's going to show you every tip in the book and all your stuff. So let's, let's do this. Since I am in, yeah, I'm right outside, uh, excuse me, right outside the new, uh, the new dungeon. Yeah, it's just like a pit outside of here. And it's going to do all these achievements and stuff. So, if you want to work on a character, okay, we'll let this do. Collections, thank you. I can still go to my house. Is it like a pit of despair? Oh, yeah. We're going to go check out the houses and stuff, too. Yeah. So here we go. Wow. Look at that outfit. That outfit is cool. How does it look in orange? <laughs> look at this. We're going to fashion right off. Ooh, fashion, fashion, fashion. Don't show locked. Uh, dyes. I don't do it by rarity. I do it by hue. I don't know how people do it by rarity. Um, let's go here. Oh, that's Patriot's Gold. Where is my... Oh, there's because that's a new... Ooh, Patriot's Gold. Tales of Tribute one. I don't have that one. There's my orange. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh, did I crash? Are you all still there? Here's the other thing. The game will on the PTS will crash on you. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Orange alert! The orange was too much! The orange was too much! Yeah, so be ready for that. So don't get mad at it. This is what we're testing. So me crashing right there was a good thing because then it tells them, you know, because they look at all these stats, it's like, okay, where were all the crashes? Okay, they crashed at doing the outfit station. Yeah, orange overload. So that's a great way to get in it. So again, you know, that's a good teaching tool for the PTS. Don't freak out if that happens. Just load it back up. So I'll uh, so you get to see my close-up. Hello, everybody. I've got all my autumn theme to match with what's going on. Yep. Up -do -do -do. Oh, yes, grew up. I do have, yeah, exclamation point, IA builds. I've got builds for every single class. Check it out on my YouTubes. All right, so I'm back into the login. Let me log in with all my stuff. Boom, boom. 
Thank you, Cal. Ooh, that's a lovely picture. Ooh, I like that. <gasps> there I am. Oh. Ooh, I didn't see the scrolls on the side. That's cool. Boom. Huh. Look for the dad sork, a.k.a. the dork. That's what it is. Yep. So, yeah, it might be with one of these errors with the add-ons. Who knows? If it happens again, I might just shut off every add-on that I have. So, all right. Let's see if it... You know what? Let's do some testing. Let's see if it does it again. Costume dying. Orange. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Beautiful. Supply changes. There we go. Oh! That looks pretty darn good. Actually, let me shut off. Can I shut off all the skill? The... Uh... Social combat is the interface. What's the one that does all the tips? Uh, gameplay? Yeah, tutorials. I don't need those. There we go. There we go. All right, so there's my guy. Boom. Love it. So, how you put a build together for this, um, oh, they've got a little lurk and stuff like that, is that basically you've been given everything uh, Madigan, the debug log viewer stash those error bars off screen if you ever need them, unless you want to, you can check them out. Thank you, Fantasy Master. I really appreciate that. Yeah. So basically you've got a box for everything. So it's just finding the right box. So you've got leads. If you need a lead for something, boom, it's there. Uh, armor, any kind, your armor, jewelry, and weapons. Let's open that. It's got for all your different types, your arena sets, your ba your battleground sets, class sets. You'd open this up. So, like, I would, like, uh, um, let's see, um, if I wanted to take something from a dungeon set. So, I would take the dungeon set. Don't take all. It'll fill up your inventory like mad. So, now I have that dungeon set in here. I would then open up. Is it base game? Is it DLC? Hi, Jar um, uh, Jagrin. I'm taking people through how to go onto the PTS and how to find stuff. So if you want to make a, a new character on there and you want to test some sets out, see what the high, the new gear, you know, new high level gear and stuff is, uh, you can check it out. So I'm showing everybody how to do that. Welcome on in. Um, so let's say it came from a DLC. All right. So I go DLC. I take that coffer. Only take one out at a time. All right. Um, if you destroy something or you, you mess up somehow, you'd have to make another character. Now, you can send that gear to another character. So, like, I can make a whole setup here of the new gear and then put it in my bank for Frostagon to take out. Yeah, so that's how the PTS... Yeah, yeah. So, going through it, if anybody has any questions about it, let me know. So, now we've gone to the DLC dungeon sets. We're going to open that coffer. What am I looking for? Am I looking for heavy sets, light sets, medium sets? Let's say light sets because I am you know, a magic user. Let's go into there. Let's take that one out. We now take out the light sets. Okay, which ones are we talking about? You know, you look for uh, all the different dungeons uh, in here. Am I looking for Icy Conjurer, Jovels, Moon Hunter? You know, which ones do I have? Thundercaller. Uh, Zens. Let's let's do like a Zens. Let's say I was putting together a Zen set. Let's take that out. Oops. Go back into here. Oh, I lost it for a second. Let's go back into our stuff. Uh, where's my Zens? There it is. Zens Regis. So it's showing you what it is. Let's open it up. And now I can take out all the pieces that I want. It also has the jewelry and weapon in there as well. So let's say I was looking to put like, you know, uh, jewelry... Uh, in here, and I was looking, um, um, you know, uh, I was going to do like a, a jewelry and weapon setup. So I would go into here. All right. I took the jewelry, and then let me take the weapon. I now am back into this. I want to take out my jewelry pieces. 
There's my necklace. Boom, boom. And my two rings. And then let me take out my... Uh, let's go back down to... Not Zen's. Do, do, do. There's weapons, Zen's redress. Let's go into here and let's find a staff. We're going to find a frost, an ice staff. There's my ice staff. There we go. So I now have my Zen ice staff that I can go in and alter. I also have my three pieces of jewelry. So now I can take those. I can alter them if I want at the um, uh, transmute station um, or whatever I need to do. And I can now add that. Oops, uh, this one. You always have to do this one by hand. And then put them on my character. All right. You've got unlimited amount of, uh, uh, well, actually not unlimited. You've got a lot of money. If you look at this, you've got over what? A billion? Is that no? Is that a billion? Yeah, a billion gold and a thousand transmutes. You also have available to you geodes that you can open up for more if you need them. So let's say I was doing the ice staff. You guys know how to do this. Transmute station. Uh, all your traits are researched. You know, if I'm like, I don't want the precise trait in there. I want infused. Let's do the infused. Transmute. Boom. Or if I want my uh, my jewelry in there. If I want my zens, all my zens to be bloodthirsty. So I can just go bloodthirsty. Transmute. Boom. And I can take all my rings. Bloodthirsty. Transmute. Boom. Yeah. So that's how you set up a new character. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's how you would do it for the gear. Then you can see everything throughout here. You've got also all your armory, uh, uh, armor, jewelry, and weapons there. All right. Uh, in the companion's arsenal, this is all your companion stuff. All right, so all your companion equipment in here. Um, uh, if you wanted to build a whole bunch of rapport to test that and everything, uh, I, I, you can go back and forth. If I'm on a character that knows it and stuff, I'll usually just go and make it because I know I, I've got enough resources to make it. But there's also a box for enchantments. Let's find it. So you've got consumables. So that's all your food stuff, you know, your food and drinks. Uh, wait. Uh, oh, there it is. Enchantments. The enchantment. Because sometimes I forget where things are. So you might have to look a little bit. So let's do an enchantment. So there's a box of enchantments. Let's go into here. Armor. Jewelry. Oh, and here's the uh, ever uh, or ewer of enchantments. If you run out of enchantments, this one will give you a whole new set of enchantments. So let's do, uh, let's change the... Um, um, uh, the jewelry ones. So pick out the jewelry box, open it up. I want, let's say, increase uh, magical harm. So I'll take that one out. Boom. Now I've got that. Let's put, instead of recovery, we're going to enchant it. Boom, there you go. So now I'm going to have the multi-effect enchantment. There you go. Yeah, so it's all in there. It takes a little bit of searching sometimes. But like if uh, um, if you need like, a, oh, lunchbox, that'll have all your food. Um, if you need like some soul gems because you were doing something or repair kits. Repair kits are good just so that you can just repair things. Um, lock picks, you know, all that stuff. Let's see. So consumables, crafting stations. If you want to set up or look at some of the new crafting stations, if you haven't seen those yet, look at that. They give you like 200. So if you want to practice decorating a house. So you, so we always think of it of prepping a character, but you'll know, build. But you also can prep a house build of like, oh, here's all the new things coming out. Let's see how all these things would look. You know, so you can craft yourself all the new things. Uh, dungeon sets, uh, that I opened up. There's the enchantments. Uh, library. All the library books are coming in there. Uh, dungeon sets. That was me opening. Uh, what was it? Temporal festivities were... Uh, oh! The cauldron. Jester stuff, because that's the new 
uh, that's going to be the next um, um, uh, festival uh, there that's coming up. So if you want to test anything out from that. Uh, ooh, let's look at this one. The Scythe of Thalia Collectibles. Ooh. If you want to see what the uh, the blood marks look like. <gasps> nice. The trophy. Or that mud crab. Nice. Wardrobe class outfit. Ooh, class outfits. Oh, I wanted to see this. Look at this. Okay. So let's do this. Let's take the uh, class outfits. Oh, my gosh. Necro, Nightblade. Let's take out our Warden. Oh my gosh. So the Wardrobe of the Warden class outfits. What does that do? So this is new to me. If I open that. Um, I wonder if I just... Yeah, outfit style. So Gardener of Seasons. So remember, Gardener of Seasons will go over to the outfit station. So let's just take all. Because all of those will get applied. Yeah. Let's also do this. Do we have our Nord? Or I could just... Actually, I could just take off my stuff, can't I? Um, let's see. Where is our... Let's add the bloody Malkath thing on there. Oh! Look at that! You got your taxes file worm lit! Go! Look at that! Oh, ho, 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 ho. That is a cool look! Oh my... We might have found our look for this next... <laughs> I wasn't like too hip on the uh, Malakath skin. But I... That looks amazing! Holy buckets! Wow! Uh, do I have the... Um, the costume, was it the Nord bath towel, so I can see. Yeah, look at that. I'm not sure. Uh, let me let me look at it. Let me see what the requirements are. That's a that's a good. Uh, let's see, uh, not Nord. Bo, 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 bo. Let's go back to uh, body. Was it body markings or skins? It's, no skins. Right, by completing the Scions of Athelia uh, Delver achievement. I think that's probably if you do um, the dungeons. Actually, no, that we can also see as well. Let's go into achievements. Let's go into um, Scions of Athelia. And actually just do the show earned. Because we've only done, wait, would that be it? Is that how I would do it? No. Warcraft, no. Where would I find that? Let's go back to all achievements. Is that just going into the dungeon? I think it's just going, yeah, going into the dungeons. So general. It's not showing me. That it, you know, that I've earned it on this achievement date and stuff. Yeah, it might just be a basic one. Yeah, it did say that it was Scions. Othello Delver. Yeah. So, oh, that's really cool. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, so, okay, where was I? Uh, oh, we're going to check out the... <laughs> I love I love how this became from a how-to to a Mia... Uh, let's see, we got to pick out a outfit one. There we go. All right, so it was Gardener. Gardener. Yes, here we go. Let's check out. So this is a specific... For the warden shoulders hands waist little side drive but, but no it's like I said I'm going through this so that you can go through and find it too 
feet. Ooh, see, the ears look good on that. And then weapon style staff. Ooh. Wait, is that a, that's a warded paw print in the staff. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh my gosh, let's get to our orange. Oh my gosh, it's gotta be orange. Oh my goodness. Oh, and look at the leaves. I didn't even notice it. Look at the leaves coming down. Oh my gosh. And it gives you, look at the glow. Can you guys see the leaves coming down? I don't know if that comes through. Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm loving that. That is so good. Wow, that's expensive. Cost 10k? 10K? <laughs> I will apply it though. Let's see how that looks. Okay, we're going to mix this with my Arctic skin. <gasps> Tipper, come on in! We're gonna mix that with my glasses. Where's my glasses? Tipper and has rated with 13 viewers. Welcome. Get on in here. How you doing? Welcome. We are taking people through the PTS to show them how that works. Where are my splatter guards? There's that one. Where's my... Actually, this might not have... Wait, this should have my splatter guards. Is that a major or a minor adornment? I think it's major. Thank you for the shout-out for Tipper. How's everything? Oh, my gosh. Tell me all the things and stuff. Uh, you know what? We'll just do a search. Splatter? Nope. Interesting. It's a major adornment. That's right. We're straight on fashion for them, but we took people through of like how to get the armor, how to do stuff, and we'll do some more of that too. All right. I don't know where my gargles are. Gargles, gargle. My goggles are. Third eye. Hmm. Put the lime in the coconut. Anyway, so we are looking at that, and then I wanted to see for body markings, the fire song. Is it fire song body art? Ooh. With the head markings. Eh. I don't like it as much. Anyway, that's something that I could go. Uh, oh, did I go past them? Here, let's do, uh, take that out again. Let me find. So it's major adornments. Where did I go? Don's eye. Because usually I can find them pretty quick because they just look like goggles. Was I too excited? Oh, there they are, Morog Tong. Ah, I gotta go by M. Oh wait, oh it doesn't let me, ooh. That uh, helm doesn't let me do it. Yeah, some helms don't allow you to do the splatter guards, that's okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I love it. Hi, R2. We're making like a little video thing for the YouTubes. I've been taking people through all the stuff uh, on here. So I'll tell you about the internet stuff in a little bit. And look at that. We got the warden paw in the middle. Yeah, so we opened up. We were looking through all the different coffers. And we opened up the class-specific outfits. Oh, that's so good. M, you would look for E, you look for... <laughs> you should report that. Not being able to use goggles is totally gamer. It is. 
Oh my gosh. All right, so we went through all of these. We went through the lunchbox. Okay, wardrobe. That's what got us a little bit stuck. A uh, homeowner's crate. All the things for uh for furnishings. Uh, treasure hunter. All those parcels, and then that's stuff that I opened up already. Yeah. So so yeah. So it takes a little bit of searching. But, like, we were able to put together... Basically, what we did is that I showed people how to put together, um, like, um, uh, uh, a new staff. You know, a, a perfected staff if they were checking out a new set. And the um, and the gear. Um, and then we went through that. Yeah. And if there's any items in there, or if you want to set up your... You, got, you do have to go through and set up all your CP. So go through and set up all your CP. So that takes a bit. Um, so you have to go through and do that. You do have to go and get a, um, um, a Munda stone. So you got to do that and put in all your points to, to there. So that's another thing. Commit points. Uh, what else do you have to do? Uh, there was one other thing and I'm forgetting now. <laughs> Oh, your skills. Of course, you got to do all your skills. Turn skill thing off in there. Nice thing about the skills is that you've got available. Everything is available for you. Um, and they already put in all the passes. So for every weapon and everything, you got all the passes. So you don't have to go through and do all of that stuff. So if I want to go through and do my, you know, just have my, my basic setup uh, in here, you know, I've got it all ready to go. I just got to put all the, uh, the stuff into it. Swap these around. Everything. Yeah. Yeah, but then you just have to follow a build. So, yeah, exclamation point YouTube. Go to, you know, Mattygon uh, on YouTube, and you'll, you'll see all the different builds um, and stuff. And uh, you just follow all the stuff if you want to make it and test it out. So that'd be a great one to test out, see if uh, any of these builds, you know, maybe it's a build you haven't tried yet of mine, um, and you'd like to do it. So, yeah. So that's how all of this works. Well, you know what we got to do to end up on this? What we've got to do is we got to log out. And we got to see how that... Oh, look at that background. Look at that background. Oh, see, question about curses and stuff like that? Um, curses. Actually, you know what? With the curses and the werewolves, I do not know. I think they're already set in there. But don't quote me on that. I think you already have that available to you i think it's already in the skills look at this you can see oh my gosh i love the little leaves actually you know what i know that's correct yeah you have the werewolf line the vampiric line is all there for you yep so oh my god i'm so excited for this next chapter i hope you are too thanks for watching everybody um, and thank you for my chat for allowing me to do this. It's so much easier to me doing this live and then, um, you know, making a highlight and posting this on YouTube. So I hope this guide helps anyone that is trying to go through the PTS and is confused. It is very confusing, especially the first time that you do it. So I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe, like, put a comment down below. That uh, interaction through comments really helps the algorithm so that we keep on growing. I think we just hit 1,600. Um... Uh, subscribers on YouTube. So thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it all. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. So, all right. Bye, everybody.